he really set the diocese up to uh, reach out to others. Especially to immigrants. Crowds once greeted Bishop Daly, and now throngs will say their goodbyes to the missionary priest who became the Bishop of Brooklyn. It was 1960 when Thomas Daly became a missionary in Lima, Peru. He often referred to his time there, ministering to the poor, as his happiest days. When he found a home in Brooklyn, he used his experiences to transform the diocese. New York was a different place in 1990 than it is today. Uh, he was here from 1990 to 2003. Those were some difficult years in the city and some difficult years, particularly in some of our inner city parishes here in Brooklyn. Uh, but he always brought the joy of a missionary. The bishop often set out on foot, never feeling more alive than on the streets of Brooklyn and Queens. Knocking on doors and the Farragut housing projects and places like St. Anne's on Front Street, uh, that's where he was most comfortable. He was a great Spanish speaker, loved being with the Spanish community, and he was a committed pro-lifer. So, you know, you can see all those places where uh, people were wounded most, that's where Bishop Bailey was. By the time Pope John Paul II accepted Bishop Daly's resignation, he had set the pace for the Diocese of Immigrants. Shepherd of this diocese, our beloved Bishop Daly. Inspiring Bishop DiMarzio to build upon his legacy from the moment he met his predecessor. First time I ever met him when he was bishop in Palm Beach. I went down, I was working at the USCCB, and I went down to visit the farm workers in Monocoli, which is, it was in it his diocese. So I had a chance to talk to him. That's maybe 30, 35, 30 years ago at least. So, uh, you know, I had certainly that impression of him that he was interested in migrants and anything, was missionary. That was his his life, and then he left that impression on me and, and on the diocese. The week for Bishop Daly will be Wednesday in Douglaston from 2 to 9, and Thursday at St. James Cathedral from 2 until the Mass of Transferal at 7.30. The Bishop's funeral will be on Friday in Douglaston at 11 o'clock in the morning. For Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.